Hello friends, welcome to Crafting with EB. I am EB. Okay, so they had a sale. I went out, bought four, because they were buy one, get one half off of the Copic sketch markers. These are the holy grail of alcohol markers. I just wanted to at least try them for once in my life. Uh, well, since I got a good deal going on, I said, what the heck? I am going to try to make art with these. Uh, last night, I I actually tested the coloring already just to see how they look. They are nice and juicy. These are actually refillable. Unfortunately, they are eight dollars per marker which is expensive but they blend so pretty and so nice so i got four different colors uh these two are from the same color family and then these two are from two different color family if you look at the number like this one here it says bg 13 that means it's blue green and the number is 13 this is blue green number 49 this is what they had in stock so this was mint green the bg 13 duck blue for bg 49 this one is from the yellow family yellow red excuse me because it's yr 14 caramel or caramel however much you want to pronounce it but yes so pretty and oh my god i when i tested these out they don't even come they like these two kind of come a little close but not really so it's like woohoo and then this one is r24 which is prawn p-r-a-w-n prawn and the number and everything is on each side so with these markers you get two brush sides here you get a brush nib looks like that oh so pretty and then you get make sure my markers on tight uh, oh my god and then you get a chisel nerd oh my god wait wait till you see how nicely these things oh my god they're so nice these are what i had at my local uh michael's that i paid for uh, i just had to oh my god i just really wanted to try them and since they were buy one get one half off i paid eleven dollars for two markers which wasn't bad i wanted to try to get some different colors try to do like a marker challenge so we're gonna splash these out and i'm gonna show you each one of them and then i'm gonna try to do a drawing and we're gonna try to color that drawing oh i might just use oh let's see do i have any papers that what did I do with my... Oh, no! I had a bunch of them printed out, like color sheets, and I just was like, where did they go? Oh. Oh, well. Well, deal with it. Okay, so I'm going to try duck blue. So this is the brush nip side, and yeah, I, I got some on the marker, but that's okay. So watch this. Okay. Uh, move. That's duck blue. Oh my god. And you can do fine lines with a chisel nib or color in lots of space if you want to. Oh, these markers are amazing. That was duck blue. Um, this one is the mint green. And how you tell that it's the chisel nib, there's a little brush nib I mean either you have a little symbol here and then you have the gray like on this marker here you see the gray sticking out that's how you can tell which one it is oh so look how pretty put the cap back on do the fine lines and then put it cover so now it's mint green doesn't look like mint green ice cream, but you know. This one is the prawn. They just glide so nicely. <laughs> She's just so nice. Ugh. Let's 
And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I might get some in some boxes. So this will be nice. And last night, last but not least, caramel. And you could do like thin, kind of thin. Oh my God, it's so cool. That's like a nice, like if I wanted to use it for like a, human's face <laughs> and that is caramel oh my god so pretty right watch how these things freaking blend so you you want to take that uh, like say we're gonna do i know i haven't blend i blend the other two before but these ones i want to blend so you're gonna take your lightest color and you're gonna oh not that side you can do either side but i like the breast nib so you gotta color in and then you take this one and then you kind of go over and then what you do to make the magic happen you go back to the lighter one and then you kind of go over the middle and oh my god look at that it's so pretty <gasps> it's so pretty and it dries pretty quickly on this paper it bleeds a little bit as you can see there, but not to like the other side. But this is what I did earlier. Oh, I love it. And you can find something on top. It's it's freaking amazing. Oh my god. And watch, I'll blend these other two together. Oh, so so cool. Okay, so you want to always start with the lightest one. And you can go over it many times, and you see that the color kind of darkens up a little bit, which is kind of cool. And I keep wanting to go for the chisel med. And then you go over like that. And then you go back to the other one. And then, oh yeah. Oh my God. Look how like, they blend. So, oh, so pretty. Oh. That one bled through because I went a little darker. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. But, oh my God, they are beautiful. Oh, now I can look at them and like dream about the, oh, I've, been, I've been dreaming about these markers. Oh. Watching other artists play with these is so cool. But I want to do like a marker challenge. You know what I mean? There was like the two marker challenge. Oh, okay. I can do two markers. I can do three. Three markers would be cool. I think these three would be really cool. But I think these four would be actually cooler. These three. But all four of them, I want to do a four marker challenge today. Um, I'm kind of thinking. I was thinking now that I'm looking at the colors uh, I was thinking more of like a landscape type deal like a meadow and uh, using this one for like or this one for like the pretty blue water coming through but now looking at the colors you, when you when you look how they lay on your paper you're like mm, that doesn't look like grass but I got so many pretty colors like mm -hmm. maybe I could draw somebody Maybe draw like a person with like, some clothes or something like that and like use this as their skin tone. You can make them. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so pretty. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, let's try. You guys have never saw me draw a person. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, I got our, another piece of paper. These are what I got free for my work. Uh, I decided to try it and I noticed that when I had them earlier that the Markers seem to not go through them, and now that I know, alcohol markers kind of do the same thing, so it's kind of nice. So this is a nice, like, thicker paper. I'm not sure what kind of brand this is. This was, yeah, this was free for me, so. Usually some artists will tape down their paper, but eh, we don't have, we don't got time for that. So, hopefully I do good, so... You got, let's start with like maybe do like an oval face. Hopefully my skills are pretty good. I've been watching Drawing with Waffles. She is like awesome. I love watching her. Then you got kind of like the neck here. And then you kind of got And 
then you're gonna go like a little skirt. And we're gonna draw a little skirt. Mm. We'll draw like a little pleated skirt. Kind of going upward maybe a little bit. So let's work on the face. I uh, want the lips to go right here. Eyes uh, to go here. Sort of working like on eyes and stuff like that. Sort of making like a. Like you take like letters and. Ah, my nose is. And I like this paper actually. Seems to hold very well. So it looks like a girl. shaping the face a little bit more and then see I, 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 I took the body too long oh but the skirt was cute maybe we can bring it up more Got the ears. Like that nose. For some reason. Maybe not leave anything on top. Maybe just a little. There you go. That looks pretty good. And then hair. Okay, for a nice, oh, let's go with, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. got like a ballerina type feel. like I don't know I always try to draw like a braid yeah <laughs> that's probably a sad looking braid but we'll give her a nice little bun Some of it like flaring off a little bit. She's been working all day. Sounds 
Saban. And I was going to get like a colorless blender, but when I looked last night when I bought them, I could not find the colorless blender. So when I went back on this morning, I did, but I didn't want to. I don't know. Should I give her? I don't know. Let me really figure out the hair here. Some eyebrows. I need some eyebrows, right? I'm gonna like it going outwards a little bit. And you have her legs coming down. And now her arms. I'm just going to put her arms behind her. She looks really broad shoulder. I don't like it. Let's small knees up. She looks like a hawk. That looks a lot better. I don't want her to look like the hawk. <laughs> sure about the ah, I was trying to make it look a little bunchy type deal kind of like a bathing suit top type deal it looks better uh, best as I can I mean I'm drawing a human for the first time on camera Hold on. Okay. 
Shall we dance? Alright. Um, I think I want her skin definitely in this color. Um, make, make her blush tones are this color. And then her outfit between these two colors. Um, and her hair maybe this color probably. So let's do it. Uh, let's try actually one moment. Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Let's do some fine liner. So that way I don't lose. Not comfortable yet to draw in. messed up, excuse me. <gasps> oh my god. So, let's just do away. Uh, and then just the Alright, let, let's try coloring. So this is the first time I'm using these markers too. If I get something wrong, uh, please forgive me. And no, the chalk does not go on to the other side. to go inside her eye. I'll probably make her one of her eyes blue. Actually, they blended pretty well, so... And yes, if you're not used to alcohol markers, they do have a scent on them. Um, 
that I wasn't aware of, but oh my god, people talk about these markers so much and they glide so nicely, they really do. Like the color comes out so nice. She looks like she's waiting to hear some news. Like, oh, did I get the part? I'm gonna go over And then we're going to go back over this to blend it out. color. I'll color the whole outfit this way. And then go over with the darker. actually makes me want to go get more colors <laughs> and just try this out you know what I And if you listen very quietly, you can actually hear these micros kind of squeak. <laughs> it might be because of the paper, but... Uh. 
No mint green, don't fail me. Oh my god. I don't want to just go into like the darker area where you kind of see a little bit of her skirt. Right here in the middle where they meet up. Maybe blend it out. I'm going to be in between the two. Probably blend it out and go upwards and then downwards type deal. I bought these markers so much. I shouldn't have tried these markers. <laughs> the only time I'll probably get them is when I get uh, uh, um, you know. You know what I'm talking about, right? Those, you know, art boxes. And then we go back to our lighter marker and we kind of, oh, on the wrong side. I do like the brush nib. Probably do some more. Uh, let me do her eye blue. Uh, let's do the mint green. All right, so uh, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Copic sketch markers challenge is complete. I will add this one to my my book. I think it turned out pretty good for the first time me using. Let's see how bad. See, it doesn't really go through. So that actually looks pretty good. I think it looks really good. Let's sign. And today is, um, God. <laughs> I'll date it later. Um, but I just wanted to share you with these beautiful markers. Oh my God. And these are refillable. So, and they're made in Japan. Oh my God. So cool. Oh my God. And if I had the colorless blender, I can actually blend this out a little bit more, but... It actually looks pretty freaking cool. I, I I like using these. So hopefully when I use get my <laughs> birthday present it's gonna be a hoo hoo markers and I'll do I'll do something about that one when uh and I get them. Um yeah. Oh god. Oh, oh I can't wait. Um but I just wanted to share you 
about these markers a little bit, but I think the shading came out pretty good. The blending, uh, sharing, different things. But if I had the color of this blender, I can blend these out even more, give them more detail and stuff like that. But I think I did pretty well for my first time using these markers. And these are the Holy Grail. Oh, you know, <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the angel, the art angel singing as I hold these markers. These are like the more sacred markers ever. And these are probably my only ones unless I get something in, in the art supply box. So yeah, please, if you guys are uh, watching these, um, send the markers, send the Kobics. But if you're watching on my Facebook channel, give this a thumbs up if you like the content. If you're watching on my YouTube channel, hit this subscribe button if you like this content. And hit the thumbs up if you thought this is actually kind of cool. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.